Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday the 27th of January 2024 and we're joined here on stage. We've had a big crowd in the auditorium. We have a big crowd here on the stage joining us tonight. And we have Dunnock, Deirdre, Paul, Shane and Patrick from Ballyfin, GAA and LGFA. I'm going to start with Dunnock. Dunnock, tell us about the experience that you've had tonight here in the Midlands Park Hotel. Well, for, with COVID everything else, we haven't had a social night in a while and we set the place on fire with this. We've had a ball tonight here crowd have just left, a huge crowd have just left here, extremely happy, a lot of the strangest memories they'll ever have, I think, but uh, one of some of the most enjoyable ones, seeing uh, a lot of our locals up here with animals we'll probably never meet again. It well, I don't know whether you'll meet them again or not, but if you do, you'll be well prepared for them. Deirdre, come in here till we have a little chat with you, you were instrumental in the organising of it, what role had you got? Um, as treasurer of Ballyfin GA, uh, just involved in um, organising sponsorship and that and just um, like to thank everybody that um, contributed towards tonight and it's a really successful night for Ballyfin GA and we're very proud of um, both Ballyfin GA and Ballyfin LGFA here tonight and the work done. And as treasurer you're going to have the job now of distributing the money that was made and I know you've talked about your sponsors and I see Dunica here holding the book in front which is a tribute to you all. I know everybody in the club has got out and dug in and I'm going to go to the lads now. Pat, your role and involvement in it? Yeah, it's just uh, rolling behind the committee, getting sponsors, getting, getting money in basically because the idea of it is a fundraiser that we can improve our facilities. So that's, that's our main aim and uh, we hope that will benefit all our members going forward. And I've seen you tonight out on the there with buckets and the people were definitely emptying them. Absolutely, uh, people emptied their pockets there tonight, they really did, dug deep and uh, we really, really appreciate it and as a committee we can't say anything but just thanks very much. Brilliant. And Shane, a very quick word before I go to Paul at the end. How did you find this experience? Great experience, well done to all the contestants, admire their work, you know, it wasn't easy for them and it was they were a credit to themselves and the club and uh, well done to Paul in particular for all the hard work leading the project for the last couple of weeks and thanks to yourself and the team for the night, it was a great night for everyone. Thanks very much for those kind words and we will bring them in because I know that it has come over here to me because this has been, I know it's been a tough month for you on a personal basis but you've put a lot into this and you've put your heart and soul into Ballyfin and I don't think there's anybody can ever doubt your commitment to this club because if they ever are, they just have to look at a diary and a date and see what you've done and I'm proud to have worked with you. Thanks very much John and I suppose look at it like everything else, I have a great committee behind me and I suppose like everything else is a team, it's a team, um, it's teamwork and teamwork makes the dream work but I suppose really at the back of all this is fundraising events with Jimmy and yourself and the whole team it's been absolutely super with Neve back at the at the um, the media side of things doing the book and things like that we're an absolute great asset to the event and I mean everything was so professionally done so well handled all we had to do was give them the information they presented it really well and look at the show tonight was absolutely excellent there's not one person gone out that door that hadn't a great night and that's like Ballyfin are lucky to be associated with that. Well, we're delighted to have been associated with you. I had a phone call with you a couple of weeks ago and I said to myself, this fellow's a fairly easy going lad. I hope, I hope, I hope that it works for you. And I'm going to say one thing for you. You pulled off a show that you should be proud of. Thanks very much, John. Thanks. Well, listen, to everybody involved in Ballyfin GAA and LGFA, I wish you nothing but the best going forward. You spend the money wisely. You try and get her to break it out and do what you need to do. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck. And remember, there was a promise made down there tonight. If there's five county championships in a row, we're getting a wedding out of it. The best of luck to you. Good night and God bless. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.